Hi everyone and welcome to your videos for June. Uh, this is Mandy and in these videos Jeannie and I will be exploring the topic measuring the impact of OERs. These videos will really help you later when you're putting together the evaluation part of your action plan, but more on that later. In these videos by metrics we mean statistics, data, counts, etc., as well as qualitative data from surveys, interviews, and focus groups. In another month's videos, we're going to talk about narrative and effective ways to communicate using stories. So why do OER metrics matter? It may seem obvious, but taking a moment to think about why we collect metrics about our open education initiatives can be helpful, especially before we begin the hard work of doing so. The main reason we collect data about our OER programs is because they provide evidence of the effectiveness of the program and indicators of impact. This can be helpful to justify funding, communicate with important audiences, and ensure your program is on track. For some stakeholders, think administrators, numbers and data are very compelling evidence for continued support. But data can also be used to convince faculty, students, even parents or alumni of how important your initiative is. Numbers also help you and others involved in your program, such as faculty, determine if you've been successful. Based on the data, you may decide to change the approach that your initiative is taking. So as we continue with these videos, you may find it helpful to follow along in this OER metrics toolkit that we compiled, which is linked here on the slide and should also be linked in the description below the video. The document includes data sources, potential actions, and resources for each part of the COOP framework, which Jeannie will discuss in the next video.